Where am I? What is this place? You're on, dude. What? What do you mean I'm on? You're on camera. What? I don't know what to say. Better say something. What? <laughs> Better just make something up, I guess. You got stage fright? Your camera shy? I'm not camera shy. You don't want camera shy. I'm the one that's on camera. Look at that right there. You're the one that's camera shy. What should I say? Uh, you better say something. Hi, everybody. I'm Bitcoin Man. I have a cape. I fly through the air like this. I'm supposed to have a Bitcoin decal right here. Thanks a lot, Amazon. You didn't ship my Bitcoin sticker. Thanks a lot, Amazon. Where's my Bitcoin decal on my chest? Hmm? All that stuff I bought, you forgot a $2 decal sticker that I was going to put right here. How can I be Bitcoin, man, if I don't have a decal on my chest? And why is my tongue squeaking? We might have to get rid of that. That's kind of annoying. We'll try not to do it so much. Okay. All right. What we got here is a little debunking video. Debunking? <laughs> I'm a little new to this myself, but... Well, then what are we doing on TV for? Hmm? How's the lighting in here? How's the lighting look? How's the audio? Audio look good? Hmm? <laughs> I got a little debunking video here. On the screen, you see Robin Hood. People say that Bitcoin is not a good investment because... Uh, hey, kitty cat. There's a kitty cat down there, right there. Look, 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 kitty cat. Look at that cat. I know. There's a lot of cats here. Lots of cats? Yeah. Of okay. course. Um, here I need to pay rent, as you see on the screen here. I need to pay rent, and I need to pay some bills. So I'm taking... Uh, $750, as you can see here on the screen. Try to uh, ignore this puppet for a while. Ignore me. You can't ignore me. I demand attention. <laughs> um, <laughs> not quite sure which way this channel is going to go, but we're about to find out. I'm a superstar. I got a cape. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I just, as you can see, this is Robin Hood. I just took out $750. Let me catch up here real quick. Uh, you're quite the distraction. I'm not a distraction. Yeah, you are. Well, maybe a little. Did you know my tongue squeaks? So I need to pay rent and some bills and stuff. So I'm taking uh, some money out of Robin Hood right now, as you can see on the screen. And... Uh, I'm not sure exactly how Robinhood operates. They take out, they hold back like about 22 and a half percent or so. And they'll hold out of your withdrawals. So like if I needed 655, I'd want to take out a little more than that. So I'm going to end up in this video taking 655 out. But as you've already seen in this video, if you haven't been watching this goofy guy over here, I'm not goofy. You're the one goofy. You're the one hand inside my mouth making me talk and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I, this is a pre-recording, so I'm just kind of talking over it. I did this last night, which you see on the screen here, taking the money out. But a lot of people say Bitcoin's a bad investment because you can't sell it. And that's just wrong. I don't know where people ever got that from. <laughs> Bitcoin is a thing where it's almost to the point where you should almost be scared to have it because people are going to steal it from you. There's a huge, just, it's just not as stupid. Just when you hear you can't sell it, just whoever says something like that has no idea what they're doing. Do a lot of people say that? Well, I've seen a lot of people say that. It's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty, uh, 
respected people and people have been in the financial industry for a long time. But uh, like who? Well, I'm not going to say. It doesn't matter. Just a lot of really experienced people say that Bitcoin is a bad investment because you can't sell it. And uh, as you can see in this video, I sold it in an instant. I sold it with a click of a finger. So see, it's, there it says $578.82 withdrawable cash. I see it. I'm talking, I'm talking to you. But see how it says 750 and 10 cents. I'm not sure exactly where that 10 cents came from. <laughs> I'm not sure of the exact mechanics of Robin Hood. I really don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. But they keep some of it. Uh, it's just part of the way they function. So just in case, I don't know, like money laundering and just, I think they try to stop people from pulling scams and whatnot. So out of that 750, I got 578 withdrawal, withdrawable cash available. I need 655 for my bills and rent and stuff. So I'm going to take out another, let's see over here on the calculator. I'm going to take out another, what am I doing there? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I made this video you're watching last night and now I'm just editing over it. So that's 77.1% of what I needed. So it looks like just say call it twenty two point eight percent is what they've held back, and they'll give that to me in a few days. They just don't give it to you right away. But that has nothing to do with being able to sell Bitcoin. If I were on a different platform like uh, Kraken, where that's another place where I do Bitcoin, it would I could just I mean it would be available to me instantly. This is just a function of Robinhood. So I'm calculating now how much I need to get six fifty five. And no, uh, no, I'm making a mistake there. I'll probably just edit this part out. But <laughs> ignore what you're watching on the calculator. There, I end up doing another one here. You just saw me withdraw 750. It wasn't enough, so let's just sit here and uh, wait, wait until we catch up here, so I figure out exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I need 655. In the end of this video, you see me withdraw 655 to my bank. So if I could just hurry up and do that. I'm figuring out I need another $76.18 right now. And uh, so I think I end up doing another $100 here. $100? You're rich. Oh, I'm definitely not rich. <laughs> but uh, with my Bitcoin plan I'll be talking about here in future videos, I'm going to try to buy some land and a house. Land and a house? Oh, I'd like to live in a house. <laughs> Can you just stop talking for a while? <laughs> the kitty cat down there. Look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, 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 kitty cat. Kitty, 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 Okay, so there it is, hundred dollars. I clicked. See, I just clicked that button, and look, look at that. That was about one second. See how that fast that was. There was, no, <laughs> there's no problem whatsoever with selling Bitcoin. Uh, if Bitcoin was a physical thing, you'd have to be worrying about people kicking down your door to steal it from you. Forget about not being able to sell it. It's just, this a total joke. I don't know if that was based in something from ten years ago or something. How how old is Bitcoin? How, how old is Bitcoin? That sounded like <laughs> you sounded like me there for a second. Oh well, let me get back to my voice then. How old is Bitcoin? Hmm? Uh, Bitcoin's about twelve years old or so. It was born out of the financial crisis of two thousand eight, two thousand nine. I remember that. I do. I do. I do. So there is now. You see, I have eight hundred fifty dollars ten cents available for cash. It's a bit of a mystery where that ten cents came from. It may have been something about the actual sale price or something, but I'm not going to worry about pennies. Uh, isn't Robin Hood a really bad place now? Didn't they do something really, really bad or something? Robin Hood's bad place to do business. <laughs> um, Robin Hood, to me, is an investment site, and that's what I use it for. I use it kind of like a savings account. I don't trade. And Robin Hood recently has really got some bad press, but... It's not supposed to be a site for traders to begin with. 
it's more of an investment thing for poor people. Now, Robin Hood, what, what about them being more transparent? Should they actually tell you that they're taking a couple pennies out of your out of your transactions and stuff? And and giving it to really rich hedge funds and stuff? Should they know that? Should Robin Hood tell people that? Uh, probably they should just be transparent and tell people that up front. That way people wouldn't get mad. But uh Anyways, so we're not going to get into that. I'm going to continue. There's Robin Hood, and I'm going to continue to recommend it to people who aren't tech savvy, who don't know how to store Bitcoin, don't know anything about Bitcoin. Robin Hood, Bitcoin are actually fake. Fake? Yeah, fake. What do you mean? Robin Hood, Bitcoin, or, or paper Bitcoins, you'll never, and they're never going to be anything more than, than paper cash. Uh, Robin Hood is not a genuine cryptocurrency market. They're not genuine. That's bad. Well, kind of, yes and no. Uh, Robin Hood's just a real simple place. Look, see right there? I'm taking 655 out to my bank. See that right there? Boom, done. It's on the way to my bank right there. See that? Withdrawal initiated. I took out 655 to my bank. And uh, of course, it'll take. Uh, Usually takes one or two days to show up at my bank. They say three, but it usually shows up in one or two days for me. Business days, that is. Um, has Robin Hood ever stole your money or anything like that? No, Robin Hood's never stole my money. And uh, see, I still have twenty three eighty two withdrawable cash, and I have one hundred ninety five dollars ten cents total. After that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reinvest that $195 right now. Uh, if I can lift this recording, we'll hurry up and get to the spot I want to talk about. Well, we got plenty of time. People probably might like to listen to me better than you anyway. <laughs> you're kind of a dork, you know that? I'm not a dork. You're a dork. You're a dork. You're a dork. We're both a dork, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so uh, I'm going to be blocking out some things on this screen, some personal information here and there, if you wonder why there's big blank spots. But uh, I'm getting around to it now. $195.10. Copy. I'm not using my keyboard, so I'm copying and pasting this stuff. And uh, why don't you use your keyboard? i got a bunch of cats running around here. It gets annoying. Oh, I... I think those cats are annoying too. There's one down there. Have you noticed sometimes my voice changes and sometimes my lips don't move when I talk? You're not very good, master. He's kind of inexperienced at this. You're going to have to bear with him until he gets it figured out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and there it goes. I, I decided to buy Ethereum. My plan is to have about 5 or 10% of my money in Ethereum and 90 to 95% of my money in Bitcoin. I'm not going to really mess around with any of those other cryptocurrency that call them altcoins. I'm just sticking to my plan, Bitcoin, Ethereum. My, mainly I'm just going to talk about Bitcoin. And uh, Why? Why are you going to do that? Well, because if you're riding Secretariat, you know, who cares if some other horses might be fast for a while. On Secretariat, Bitcoin is Secretariat. I look at Ethereum as maybe Seabiscuit. Maybe Seabiscuit has a chance to catch Secretariat at the wire. But I'm on Secretariat. I don't have any other reason to jump on a fast horse that's going to has a chance of pooping out. So I'm just going to ride Secretariat the whole way and put a little bit on Seabiscuit because Seabiscuit should perform pretty good this year as well. Okay, so there it goes. I just purchased one hundred ninety-four dollars fifty-nine cents of Ethereum. For some reason, I left fifty-one cents out. I'm not sure exact the exact function that's going on there. And like I said, I really don't care when it comes to cents, pennies. But I'm going to end up putting this fifty-one cents back into Bitcoin because Ethereum. You'll see here in a second. The minimum investment for Ethereum for some reason was a dollar. For some reason, was a dollar seventy. And uh, I'm not sure why. And I thought you had to have a minimum of a dollar to invest on Robinhood. But I end up putting this 51 cents, as you're about to see, back into Bitcoin. 
It's going to take a minute or two to catch up. This is kind of a, kind of a long video. It's a good thing I'm here to people so people won't get bored. You're kind of boring. Yeah. I'm boring. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You can't even figure out how to twist my head at the right time. Sometimes I'm talking and my mouth isn't even open. <laughs> how can I possibly talk without my mouth open? Hmm? What? It's a kitty cat. Yeah. The kitty cat meowing down there. You had a kitty cat down there, man. Okay, so here it is. I'm on Bitcoin. I just bought 51 cents worth of Bitcoin. So all that extra money I wasn't available to withdraw to my bank, I instantly turned around and put it back in. Get off me. <laughs> Ouch. Go away, kitty cat. You kitty cat. Go away. Go away. Go away, kitty cat. We're trying to make, we're trying to make a video here. Kitty cat. Go away, kitty cat. You're annoying, kitty cat. Get off of him. He said get off of him. Get off of him. Get off, get off him. <sighs> Having cats crawl on you while making a video. It might be one of the most, most mentally straining things for some reason. <laughs> Making a video, having a cat claw your legs and meow on your face. Go away, kitty cat! I have a cape I can fly. So there it is. I just wanted to uh, debunk a popular myth out there. You can't sell Bitcoin. I don't know how many times I've heard people say it. I'm not sure where exactly that comes from. If that was born out of maybe the very early days of Bitcoin. Back when a, two pizzas cost 10,000 bitcoins. 10,000 bitcoins for two pizzas? Do you know how much money that would be worth today? It'd be like $500 million. Two pizzas for $500 million. Are you sure? $500 million is the right number? I don't know. It's close. It's close enough. <laughs> $500 million for two pizzas. How long ago was that? That was 12 years ago. 9, 10 years. 8, 9, 10 years ago. Something like that. <laughs> kind of sounds like you don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. It just doesn't really matter. Does it matter if it was 8 or 9 or 10 years ago? I'm super. Uh, <laughs> what's my name? I'm Bitcoin Man. So I'm kind of going down and showing some of the old, the clean energy stocks I've been messing around with for the last two years. Um, clean energy is just exploding. Did you make any money? No. I just kind of played even. And that's kind of the lesson I've learned, and that's why I'm sticking to Bitcoin this year. I'm not going to focus on anything else. I'm not going to take my money off Bitcoin at all. Um, I learned with these clean energy companies, I would get on a clean energy company, and I would sell, and then it would go up. And the other clean energy companies I bought would go down after I bought. And then I'd buy another one. And the one I just sold from would go up. Kind of sounds like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> well, it's a lot of experience. I've learned a lot of lessons. So now I've decided to start making videos. Bitcoin's going to have a bull run in 2021. Basically, the rest of this year, Bitcoin's basically going to go up. Up? Look up there? Yeah, you're doing. Stop interrupting me. What? Why? <laughs> Why is your mouth talking when I'm talking? You're the one controlling my mouth, stupid. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, so, uh, got to stay in the center of the frame, dude. Right about there is pretty good. Stay right there. Don't, don't move around too much. Why is my mouth moving again while you're talking? You got to fix that problem. Pay attention! <laughs> so, uh, I think you got the point in this video. <laughs> it's a myth. It's a lie. It could be a myth. It could be a lie. It's turned into a myth. It could be people that actually believe that, that technically aren't lying. They just don't know what they're talking about, and they're just wrong. But it's wrong. It couldn't be further from the truth. Bitcoin is extremely easy to sell. Quiet, kitty cat! We're making a video.
kind of sounds like your voice is starting to wear out there. Well, if you talk like this too, your voice will wear out too. <laughs> Making fun of me. Making fun of I'm your star. I'm your YouTube star. Well, we might get we might get 200 views. <laughs> is that a star? I don't think you're a star. What? I'm a star. You say I'm not a star. You say I'm not a star. I'm a star. I am a YouTube star. Where's where's my chest decal? Where'd it go? Where I, we were supposed to have a chest decal. We my lips aren't moving again. Pay attention. <laughs> I wanted to have a decal for Bitcoin, man. But I need to get videos out. We're not we're done waiting on Amazon. Hurry up, Amazon! What are you waiting for? You're supposed to be fast on the delivery. Amazon! Okay, so down here I'm showing. That Robin Hood doesn't allow day traders for people with under $25,000. Uh, technically, you could do three day trades in a week, in a five-day business day week. Um, but that's not that's not really day trading. This, if you make an accident, you get three mistakes before you can not do it again. <clears throat> so you see, I put that cash into my bank, and then the remaining cash I put back into Robin Hood. It's not a perfect system, but as you can see, as soon as I click sell, it instantly sold. Now, sometimes the price might fluctuate and it might go above or below your sell or buy. And maybe the order won't go through, but that's because of the market. It's not because of anything else. Shut up! Shut up! Quiet, kitty cat. We're making a video. I have one cat that meows relentlessly. And the only thing that makes it be quiet is a loud noise. So I either have to blow a whistle or scream at it. <laughs> I'll be the one screaming at it from now on. If you don't mind, I like yelling at kitty cats! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Quiet! Quiet! <laughs> I'm gonna get a hold of one of them. I'm gonna get a hold of one of them kitty cats one day for you. <laughs> kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty! 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 Kitty cat! Kitty! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Okay, well, I sure hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show too. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> Get some more kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it.